My name's Chris Hayes and I'm an electrician. I've been surrounded by the electrical industry most of my life and I'm here today to talk to you about electrical safety in the home and the sorts of problems that we could have. And one of the things that we do get often is what they call a nuisance trip. And that is where an appliance or a product that's plugged into your socket circuit or your cooker circuit uh, goes into fault conditions and it causes the installation to trip out or stop working. And I'm gonna talk you through the process of how to try and fault find that yourself in a safe manner um, without the necessity to give a, an electrician a call. One of the first things to do is you mustn't panic, you mustn't worry. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Some of these things can be resolved very, very easily. So what I want you to do is just take your time, follow the instructions, and if there's any part of it that you don't understand, please replay the video and, uh, and if necessary, get somebody else to help you. Okay, ask a neighbor or a friend or somebody else or a family member, and I'm sure they'll be more than happy to do so. Some of the most common items that cause these types of faults are washing machines, irons, fridges, anything, just about anything where you're involving some sort of moisture or water and electricity. And what can happen over time is that the component parts can wear down. And again, it's like I said, it's nothing to worry about. All we need to do is identify what it is exactly that's gone faulty. How to find your fuse board? Well, we're just positioned here near the, near the front door and there's a little cupboard here. You don't know where it is, they're usually hiding in places like this. Uh, also, you can find them under stairs. Uh, the gas meter's in, in the cupboard adjacent to it. Um, so the gas meter's in there and the fuse board is in there. The process to go through if you've got uh, a fuse that keeps tripping or predominantly it's an RCD unit like this. So if you've got one of these in your board with a T on, a uh, little test button like that, this is the main switch for the whole of the house. So if I wanted to isolate the entire board, and in this case this is it, um, what I would do is uh, I could throw this switch in emergency and it's a 100 amp switch and it would isolate the entire board. Now, one of the biggest problems with these is usually nuisance tripping, and that occurs mainly due to things that are plugged in, uh, occasionally a bulb that could blow, or something along those lines, and the procedure to follow is quite simple. Um, basically, these are your, what they call circuit breakers, and each one of these controls a circuit. Um, this one's cooker, socket, and then lights for the first floor. But I'll just use the first one as an example that's marked as cooker. Now, if this was in the on position, um, that's perfectly normal and it's, it's okay. Uh, everything's live, everything's active and you should be able to use the cooker with no problem. If this, was to, if this was to trip out for whatever reason, what you need to do, it's usually, it's an enforced trip like that. So there's been a problem that's occurred somewhere in the circuit. And the procedure to follow is to go along this row. Now, this will vary depending on the type of installation. So don't worry, it usually starts with the largest fuse, which is in this case a 32 amp, and it goes down. So it'll start with the largest one, nearer the isolator, and then it'll go down in size. And eventually it'll end up with lighting circuits, which is six amp. Okay, so the procedure to follow is to isolate and turn off each one of these. Then, then you come over here and you try and reset this. If that still continues to trip out, then there's a fault somewhere else. But generally speaking, what will happen is if you reset it, it'll come on. You can then identify which circuit the fault's on simply by raising this switch up to the up position. And you can see there's a little indicator. Green is off and red is on, which is live. Now, if that stays up and so does that one, it means the fault is not on that circuit. So you then move to the next one, which is sockets. Now, if I start to trip this up or replace it, or reactivate it, and it takes this out, what that's telling me is that there's something that's plugged in, in the socket, 
that's faulty and it's causing this to trip out. So the next action would be to go around to each socket and unplug every single appliance or whatever there is plugged into it. Okay, you then come back to the board and you try and reset this circuit. If it resets, then it's usually the appliance that's plugged in that's causing the problem. Okay, and it's very easy. You don't necessarily have to call an electrician out. It's only if you unplug absolutely everything that's plugged into that circuit that you would then have to call an electrician if this is keeping tripping out like that. Now, I'm only pressing that to replicate the trip because it's a test button, but it would go into the down position and it wouldn't want to reset. The worst thing in the world, guys, and I mean this, is to keep doing this, flicking it back up. Eventually, you'll damage this. And if you damage it, it could end up where there's no protection on the house. This is there to protect you, the end user, not the installation. These are to protect the installation. This protects you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like the video and hit that subscribe button.